Hi, I'm Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today I'm standing in a brand new 2023 Outdoors RV, Timber Ridge in the 22 FQS floor plan in the Titanium Series upgraded trim level. So the 22 FQS is, has been a really popular floor plan for us. Um, a couple years ago, probably three or four years ago, it was called the 21 FQS. It was pretty cool, but they took that floor plan, they moved it into the Backcountry Series and they redesigned it to make the 22 FQS. What they did was they took the refrigerator from this side, they put it over on this side and only extended the trailer by one foot. So this trailer has a 26 foot eight tip to tip length, which is still really short when you're trying to get into the back country. So they've moved the fridge over here, which then not only opened up the whole trailer, gives you a better TV location, but gives you massive amounts of counter space and cabinetry. We get a lot of questions on how this model differs from the Creekside 21 RBS. So obviously the first thing is what I just mentioned, the, the fridge being moved over here, all of the counter space, the TV location. But then remember on all timber ridges versus Creeksides, you're gonna get the larger eight inch chassis versus the six, the full fiberglass front cap that wraps over the edges, an eight cubic foot refrigerator over the smaller seven cubic foot in the Creekside, 10 gallon water heater instead of the six. And then the bathroom is also different in the Timber Ridge. You get a bigger shower with a glass shower door. So the 22 FQS is a rear entry model. When you come in, you've got a nice big coat closet and you also have a drawer down below. Then you walk in and you have this counter space with a huge cabinet down below, a bank of four drawers, overhead cabinet galore. I mean, it's just a great floor plan. We sell these to um, a lot of couples, sometimes people that have just one or two kids that can sleep on the dinette. Sometimes we remove the dinette and put in theater seating. I mean, it's just a really versatile floor plan, especially if you like to have a trailer that's nice and open. Over here, you've got the eight cubic foot refrigerator with the top freezer. So that's a nice size. That's what you're gonna get in the Backcountry Series in that 21 RWS as well. Because this is a titanium, you're gonna have the hardwood valances as well as the slow rise blackout shades throughout the coach. You're gonna get the titanium stainless steel appliances with backlighting and also the um, push button ignition on the oven pilot. On all Outdoors RV models, you're going to get the glass top range. So when you're not cooking on the stove, you just close this and then you've got some extra counter space, not that you're gonna need it in this floor plan, but it is there if you do. And then the nice knife rack right back here behind the stove. Over here, you're gonna have your spice rack, another bank of three drawers, as well as a little bit more storage underneath the kitchen sink. Because it's a titanium, you get the high arc faucet. It does have the pull out spout. Solid surface uh, countertop cutouts that go in the sink cover for sink covers. And then the farm style stainless steel sink with the protective wire rack in the bottom. As I mentioned earlier, the bedroom is completely open to the rest of the trailer in the 22 FQS, which I find really nice because what is otherwise a very small trailer, when you add a slide out and remove the bedroom wall right here, it's nice and open and just feels extremely roomy. Also, the bedroom, you have a nice area to walk around so you're not scooching past a wall. You've got a nice area right here. On the back side of the kitchen sink, there's a lot of storage and they've given you two extra drawers so that things don't get stuck back there never to be seen again. You can access the back from here. Another feature of the 22 FQS that's gonna be different than the 21 RWS and the 21 RBS is the location of the TV. So as you can see, it's on a swing arm, so you can swing it over to watch it from the dinette, which that's why we've had a lot of people that have had us here at Thompson RV remove the dinette and add in either chairs, theater seating, or a sleeper sofa is because you've got this perfect 
TV viewing area from that slide out. The other thing is because it's on a swing arm, you can also swing it around and watch it from bed, which is also a really nice feature. And then over here, you have the CD DVD player with Bluetooth stereo, and you can link that to the exterior speakers. Not when you're watching a movie, you don't want your neighbors to all have to hear the movie, but if you wanna to listen to your phone, you can do that out under the awning. And this is 12 volt as well as the TV. They also use all marine grade TVs. So the Jensen is not only marine grade components, so it's a better quality television, but it also has a back that's reinforced to take the jostling going down the road. Because this is a titanium, you're gonna get the upgraded titanium mattress, which is absolutely amazing. Solid surface countertops next to the bed, under cabinet lighting, the reading lights, and then also you get a shirt ward on each side of the bed. That's gonna be in every unit, but this is a titanium, so it has the hardwood raised panel doors. If this particular unit had solar, that's where the solar charge controller would go. All outdoors RVs are pre-wired for up to 510 watts of roof mount solar. With the titanium, you're also going to get the fancier bedspread and pillows. Um, and then on each unit, you're going to get 110 plugins on uh, either side of the bed, as well as 12 volt and USB ports on each side. We option all of our trailers with the Max Air Deluxe vent fan. So that's a 10 speed, fully automatic, thermostatically controlled fan. It has a built in rain guard, so you can run it going down the road, you can run it in the rain. Um, it's just a really great fan. And often, if you're in temperatures, you know it's a little bit warm, but it's cooling off at night. Because of the insulation in this Outdoors RV trailer, you can cool down the trailer at night with the Max Air fans without ever having to run your 110 air conditioner, because these are gonna run off of 12 volt cool down the coach and then lock it up for the day and it's gonna keep that cold air in here. So I've gotten by tons of times without ever running a generator or ever being plugged into shore power and I've just stayed cool using the Max Air fans at night. So in the slide out, what comes standard on the 22 FQS is going to be Outdoors RV's Mountain Dinette. So you can easily seat four people around this table, play cards, whatever you wanna do. Um, it's on marine grade, table legs, so they're high quality, better than anything you're gonna find in the RV market. And that is so that this table is nice and sturdy, but you can still tear it apart and make it into a 45 inch by 84 inch bed, so a nice size bed. Um, Outdoors RV doesn't scrimp on anything, so not only are they using very high quality table legs, table, high density, extra thick foam, 100 pound um, ball bearing drawer guides, they give you a nice lock on the drawer, and they also construct their drawers to where the bottom won't fall out. I know that seems silly that I even have to mention that, but uh, in lesser quality trailers, this bottom drawer, if you overload it, not only are the ball bearing drawer guides going to fail, but also the bottom is going to fall out. So they've thought of everything and they've gone above and beyond on the quality of construction of every component in this trailer. The other thing, is the construction of the actual dinette itself. So most trailers, if you were to actually tear apart the dinette in any other brand of trailer, you're gonna see a really thin piece of paneling and that's your base under your cushions. Outdoors RV recycles the cutouts where they've cut out the window. As you can see, this is fiberglass. So you've got the interior wall panel the foam core insulation and the exterior wall of the trailer. When they route that out, they repurpose them, cut them into these extra thick, extremely sturdy dinette bases. The other thing is if you do take apart the dinette, as you can see over in that corner, you have extra storage for items that you're not gonna need to get to that often because you do have to take apart the dinette in order to get to them but they're not just gonna waste that space. They are gonna give you access to it, so you have that extra bit of storage. Because this is a titanium, you're gonna get all of the hardwood around the slide out as well. As I mentioned earlier, the Timber Ridge 22 FQS has a 20% larger shower pan than the Creekside 21 RBS. So this is gonna be the same corner shower that you're gonna get in every Timber Ridge, 
with the glass shower enclosure. Because it's a titanium, you get the upgraded titanium fixtures. You also have a little ledge in here. But as you can see, there is a lot of room in this shower. So it's a lot bigger, in my opinion, than that Creekside 21 RBS. And I really do like having the glass doors versus having the shower curtain. The rest of the bathroom is just as roomy as the shower. So you've got the titanium solid surface countertops with the underslung sink, the solid hardwood medicine cabinet, titanium illuminated mirror, pump switch, and then also another max air fan with controls right here. So you've got a max air fan in the ceiling as well as a skylight above the shower for all of you people that are a little extra tall. Over here above the porcelain toilet, you also have another storage cabinet for either toilet paper or towels as well as towel hooks. When traveling down the road with the slide out in, you can access everything in the whole trailer, the rear bathroom, closet, the refrigerator, the entire kitchen, and then the bedroom, if you need to lay down and take a nap, is accessible. You do have to do a little bit of a shimmy right through here, but with a little squeaking, it is doable. So with an overall tip to tip length of 26 foot eight, the 22 FQS is going to be a single entry door model. The entry door is going to be at the rear with your triple aluminum step, the aluminum grab bar handle. You've got a full length aluminum wrap electric awning that's gonna run off of the titanium remote or also off of a wall switch. Same with the LED light strip that runs the entire length of the awning. Because it's a titanium, you're gonna get the frameless windows, the high gloss fiberglass siding. This is the same construction as far as thickness of the wall. It's still a two inch thick bonded sidewall, just like the entire Outdoors RV lineup. This just has the higher grade Lamalux 4000 gray fiberglass. Off-road X4 suspension package. So just like you wouldn't buy a car today without any kind of suspension on it, you really shouldn't be shopping for a trailer that doesn't already have suspension on it. So you've got the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension, heavy duty shackles with greasable zerts, bronze bushings, and the KYB off-road shocks. Load Range E Goodyear endurance tires that are rated um, for 85 miles per hour on the freeway. Right here is where you're gonna fill your fresh water tank. Often you'll find them on the other side. There's a couple of models though that actually are on your door side. 110 electrical outlets, access to your 35,000 BTU furnace. This is going to be a hatch to easily access your LP port to hook up a barbecue. Because it's a titanium, you are gonna have the auto leveling system. That is one of the things that here at Thompson RV, all of us have used. We absolutely love it. Um, it's a game changer. And another thing that I don't think I've ever mentioned is that it is rock solid. So when you're in the coach, you know, other jacks, they tend to wiggle after, you know, a night's stay. You might have to go out, tighten up your jacks, whether they're power or manual crank down jacks. These are just absolutely rock solid. They stay in place and they give you the feel of an actual home. They're just not wiggly like a normal trailer. Out here, you've got insulated baggage doors with magnetic catches. The rubberized diamond plate flooring. All of this is going to be insulated because this is your nightstand. You definitely want this area of your trailer to be insulated so that you don't have any drafts coming up to where you're sleeping. You've got a battery disconnect switch, controls for the auto leveling, a USB port and a 12 volt port on the outside in the compartment as well as a light. Right here on your uh, side of your trailer, you've got the extra ZAMP solar port, so you can connect a portable up to 200 watt panel that you can move around and chase the sun with. So if you're parked in the shade and your roof mount solar isn't getting full sun, you can move that one to wherever the sun is and chase it around the trailer. The fiberglass front cap on the Outdoors RV Timber Ridge is going to wrap all the way around. That way you're not getting any seams right here. So what that does is because the seam is way back here, 
you have this much more sidewall and this is not going to leak, obviously. So if you're going down the freeway 70 miles an hour with a driving rain, anything that has a seam right here, that's obviously going to be a weak point. So they've mitigated that risk of having a leak by wrapping around this fiberglass front cap. This is not a cheap plastic painted cap that's going to chip. This is a high grade fiberglass cap made up in Yakima, Washington by the same company that makes parts for Boeing. Very important because Boeing is super picky. So if they are good enough to make parts for Boeing, you're, you know that you're getting the best front cap on an outdoors RV. You also get this, um, it's like a bed liner on the front. We call it armor guard. And so that's gonna protect the front cap from rock chips. Eight inch I-beam chassis on all of the Timber Ridge models. And the chassis is, the A-frame is integrated into the chassis. So it's all one piece. A lot of off-brand manufacturers, they're gonna buy a cheap frame from Lippert. And what they're gonna do is that A-frame piece you'll see that it's just tack welded on the bottom of the chassis. So the chassis that the trailer's built on is one piece, the A-frame is another. Obviously, that's gonna be a weak link. So your trailer is only gonna be as good as your chassis. This has an integrated A-frame with good welds and that structural component goes all the way through and into the actual custom built chassis that Outdoors RV makes on, on site. This particular model has the four battery tray, but this person didn't order it with solar panels. So they just went with two standard batteries. You can upgrade. If you're gonna be doing more boondocking and you want solar panels, you can get the four battery tray, a quad box, and then you can do either three Battleborn lithiums on the front or four six volt AGMs. Two seven and a half gallon propane tanks with the regulator that automatically changes between the two tanks. Part of the auto leveling system is gonna be a front power jack. <clears throat> and then on all of the outdoors RVs, you get the front jack caddy, a place to store your seven way cord, your breakaway cable, as well as your safety chains. Over here, you've got access to the other side of your pass through storage. Slide topper comes standard on all titanium these units so that's going to keep all the debris off of your slide out and yes it rolls out with the slide out everything you know pine needles pine cones rain whatever stays off the roof of your slide out and then when you roll it back in it automatically rolls up and everything just falls off the top right back here you're going to have your city water connection so if you're in a park and you don't want to run off of the tank water you can just hook a hose directly up to here satellite and cable, your black tank flush, refrigerator vent and also access to your refrigerator, insulated outside shower door. Right here you have a light for your dump valves and your dump valves on this particular model are just right under here for your gray and your black. There's no kayak hatches on this particular model because as you can see, the skirt metal curves up at the back end, so there's just not enough clearance to put in a kayak hatch, but because the skirt metal curves up, you have easier access, so you don't have to reach down as far, thus you don't actually need the kayak hatches. Right here's where you're gonna hook up your 30 amp twist lock, um, 30 foot cable to plug into shore power. Here on the back, you've got the four inch steel bumper with the sewer hose storage. Titanium always come with the backup lights in conjunction with the rear observation camera. So if you're backing into a spot late at night, it is really nice to have those upgraded backup lights. Um, we can add the rear observation camera to anything, but this is gonna be a titanium only feature. You get the nice heavy duty ladder. The outdoors RVs are all full walk on plywood roofs. We do recommend that you get up there once every six months to check all of your roof sealants. We order all of ours with the mountain storage system, which is gonna uh, include this two inch rear receiver hitch that's good for up to 250 pounds, as well as the toy lock cable lock that's on the front A-frame. You get a full size Goodyear spare tire. And then this right here is just gonna be access to your gas electric 10 gallon water heater. So thank you so much for watching our video today. 
please let us know if you have any questions. We do ask that you want to give us a call. Um, a lot of the Outdoors RV products, because they're such a small manufacturer, you want to make sure you know when each floor plan is going to be built and so that you can get on a list. If we don't have it in stock, you're definitely going to want to place an order. So please just give us a call if you have any questions or if you have questions about the quality comparison between floor plans. All of us here have used Outdoors RVs for years, so we're very knowledgeable. All the guys here, my mom, myself, anybody here can help you. So please, thank you for watching and just give us a call if you have any questions.